Did you know that if bees go extinct then human race will have only 4 more years of life left time now for some bodhi speak As I said earlier bees are vital for human survival but we are going to come back to this in a bit first i want to share with you something very interesting about the bees and that is their intelligence while i was exploring this topic i found this really educational and an eye opener we have often heard various adjectives being attached to bees like for instance as hard working as a bee or say as busy as a bee however one fact that has often been overlooked is the intelligence of the bees and how they are almost as intelligent as the human race research has established that there are various activities that bees can perform by using their intellect that are truly astounding for an insect with an average life span of less than a year and a brain substantially smaller in size than the human brain to be able to accomplish so much is nothing short of a miracle so here are five reasons why bees are one of the most intelligent species on planet earth bees are masters at using abstract thought and symbolic language they send their female scouts to look out for potential new nesting places if the scout locates a suitable place she returns to the original nest and performs a waggle dance if the identified spot is an extremely good one the dance is a more intense one lasting up to as long as 5 minutes as compared to a duration of less than a minute if the location is merely a desirable one the dance also includes a code to tell her hive mates of the new location bees also have a democratic system which was in place much before we humans had one if there are more than one potential location the bees use dance as a form of voting for their preferred location to decide their next abode Bees are adept at finding locations and research has also found that they are pretty good at predicting a location as well in an experiment conducted to research bee behavior entomologist kept a dish of sweet water at a distance from the bee hive a scout bee found it soon enough and brought the rest of the hive to it the next day the dish was kept at twice the distance from the hive Soon enough one of the scouts found it and the rest followed this went on for several days with increasing distance from the hive and every time the bees got there almost seamlessly on the final day when the researchers went to the location where they intended to keep the dish they were shocked to find that the bees were there already waiting for the dish to arrive This proves that the bees were able to calculate and predict as to where the dish would be placed. Now, for those of us living in a very busy and traffic congested city, I have one question. Can we identify the shortest possible distance and ideal route to multiple sites without resorting to Google Maps? Well, let me tell you that the bees can do that bees are pretty efficient in locating the best and the most efficient route to hundreds of flowers every day and also consider the benefits vis-a-vis the time taken on deciding whether it's worth going after a larger flower located at a longer distance what's more their brains are capable of retaining the routes for up to 6 miles for several days
In Australia, researchers were able to successfully teach honeybees to identify several different colors. The bees were shown a color that was used to indicate a specific path in a maze. The bees were then able to find their way through the maze because they recognized the color. They were also able to recall that specific color later on and they use it to guide their way through the maze even when they weren't shown it at the start of the maze. Bees are also known to be the best insect doctors. Bees wax is secreted by the glands of the female worker bees and used by them to build the hexagonal honeycomb cells that keep the honey, the pollen and the younger bees. Bees also use beeswax to plug holes in the hive. They are also capable of mixing oils that are secreted by themselves and the oils from the plants to make something called propolis. This mixture can include up to 50 different substances like wax, oils and pollens. Propolis has several protective and antibiotic properties including antioxidants and some resins that protects the trees from microbes and insects. Bees use propolis to stabilize the hive's structure and defending the hive from invaders. They also use propolis to kill fungus and other microbes that infect bee colonies. Bees are capable of differentiating between harmful fungi and relatively harmless ones. They bring higher quantities of propolis when harmful fungi infect their lives. When harmless fungi were placed in the hives, the bees didn't use the propolis, but instead just removed the spores. To put all this in some perspective, we should take note that the average bee brain has around a million neurons, while human brains have around 100 billion neurons. Despite this, the bees can learn and understand abstract concepts and take complex decisions. To sum up, one cannot but salute the amount of intelligence power that is packed in a mere 0.5 millimeter sized bee brain. Now let's go back to what I mentioned at the start of this video about how vital bees are for our survival. The importance of bees for mankind on planet Earth can be gauged from the quote supposedly made by the great Albert Einstein who said that if the bees disappeared off the surface of the globe, then mankind would only have four years of life left. No more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals and no more man. Whether it was Einstein who said this or somebody else is disputed. But the fact remains that the survival of bees is extremely important for the survival of mankind and the flora and fauna around us. In 1901, the prominent Belgian writer and Nobel Prize winner Maurice Maeterlinck published the book The Life of the Bee wherein he expounded the idea that the bee was a vital ecological linchpin and that we owe our civilization to the bee. Getting down to specifics, bees are responsible for pollinating about one-sixth of the flowering plant species worldwide and approximately 400 different types of agricultural plants. Pollination is the process of transfer of pollen from the male part of the plant called anther to the female part of the plant called stigma. This results in the creation of the seed, nut or fruit. All bees have stiff hairs and pockets on their legs that allow them to collect more pollen from the plants and become efficient transporters of it between plants. If there are no bees, we will not have some of our favorite food items like apples, berries, cherries, almonds, cucumber, broccoli, pumpkins and watermelons. Or for that matter, we can also kiss some of our preferred clothing like jeans 
goodbye. According to a UN study, the worth of global crops grown with the honeybee's pollination was estimated to be nearly $200 billion way back in 2005. And in a study done in the US in 2010, it was estimated that bees were responsible for $19 billion worth of agricultural produce in the US alone, whereas all other animal pollinators like bats, moths, butterflies, hummingbirds, ants, and beetles contributed an estimated $10 billion put together. Lest we forget, bees directly provide us with honey, which has several nutritional and medicinal properties for humans that most of us know about. The beeswax produced by the bees is used in food for flavoring as a glazing agent and sweetener. Through their primary act of pollinating flowers, bees also contribute to the beautification of Earth's floral landscapes. By keeping flowers pollinated, bees perpetuate floral growth and provide attractive habitats for animals, birds, and insects. So clearly, bees are amongst the most important insects to mankind. Quite underrated really, and do deserve a huge word of thanks from us. Bees are fast vanishing from the face of Earth due to pesticides, parasites, disease, and habitat loss, which is indeed a worrisome sign for mankind. I do hope you found this video as interesting and informative as it was to me while researching the subject. If it is indeed so, please give it a thumbs up and share it in the social media. Also subscribe to my channel for more interesting stuff coming up in the future. I will see you soon and thanks for watching.